Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and I know I'm so sorry I have not posted for you guys in a few weeks at least a video, and in today's video we are going to be drawing Sonic, and I just want to show you guys the steps and how to draw Sonic really easy. And to start, the materials that we are going to be using in today's video is basically just paper, I like to use marker paper or cardstock, Make sure to have a pencil so you can do the sketch and some markers along with a fine liner. Okay, let's start the sketch. So basically, we're going to start off by sketching in a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get a good reference. And then we are going to start to add on to the circle. Take it from the left side and kind of take your line and curve it as this will serve as the spikes for Sonic. So this part is going to be the eye. We're just kind of sketching it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we are going to draw a line going down like a slide. And then we are going to kind of shoot it back up. And that's gonna serve as the other eye as it is going to be bigger than the other one. Now you can just add a little oval inside there just to serve as the eyeball, but I don't know if this is going to be perfect. We might have to resize it. Um, yeah, so now we are going to start by drawing his nose, the part that connects to his nose too, and that's going to be kind of rounded and it's going to be connected to the eyes. Here is the nose that we will sketch in, just a little oval again. So it's going to look like a sausage when you're all done. And I know it may look a little weird right now, but it's going to get a lot better as we continue the drawing. Now this part right here is his little smile that we are going to give him, and I think it's going to look really cool. A little spike for the ear and we are going to be doing the same thing on the other side I hope that you guys are able to follow along with this and I hope that your guys' results look very good and yeah just follow along and we will keep going. Let's just add in the spikes 
there are going to be three spikes and let's try to get them the same size. Just add in a little more detail inside the eye. So this is basically going to be like another oval, except it's going to be for his body. And it's going to be about the same size as the head, maybe a little bigger. And now we are going to add the arm in and add his hands, which are going to be on his hips. On the other hand, we are going to be doing this hand. Let me know if you guys get that joke. As you guys can clearly see, I've messed up so many times on this hand. And after I kept erasing it and erasing it and drawing another one and then erasing it. And this was actually the one that I was satisfied with.
Now for the shoes, just kind of sketch in like a pointy triangular shape, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We can always go back over it with the ink, but this is just to get our ideas down. So after the sketch, let's get on an ink and then let's color it in. I might do a time lapse for that. Actually, I think I'm going to. So enjoy the process of me inking it and I might show some clips of me coloring it in and just the techniques that I use. Let's go. There's not really much for me to say while inking and the process of it, so I'm just gonna uh, let you guys watch it real fast. It won't be long, and I will come back at you when we start to color it in. After finishing the inking, I think it looks very good and I'm excited to color it in and I think the color is going to make it look really good and yeah, I did more of like a thick um, ink to go around it just to give it more of a cartoony look but I think it looks really good, let me know, let's get to coloring now. I was just laying down a blue base layer and I really like this color and I think that we can add a lot of potential with the shadowing and I think the results are going to look very good. Let's keep going and see if they do look good.
I chose this bright red for the shoes and I think it looks very good and I do like the skin tones and I think I did a very good job shadowing. So we just finished and I just want to say that I absolutely love it. I love how the colors blended and I basically love everything about it. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Hope it helped you guys draw Sonic yourself and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.